Hi everyone, Old Man Tech here. What you see before you, of course, is a cuckoo clock. Now I had this clock running, I took the movement out, I cleaned and dried and re-oiled the clock movement to uh, get it to run properly and I, of course I had to adjust the hands to get the cuckoo to come out at the right time and this all worked fine and well for a couple days and then I noticed that it seemed like the uh, pendulum was not ticking and talking like it should have been so of course I had to work on it and anybody that's worked on one of these knows you can't really do it on the wall without well, I got to put all the weights on it and the pendulum and put it on the wall and see what it's doing and take it off, take the weights off, take the pendulum off, try and work on it trial and error. Where I thought it'd be better just to uh, make my own little stand, they call it. I call it a little workstation because I like to be able to sit down and work on what I'm working on. So basically what I did is I have this old Black & Decker uh, adjustable clamping table and uh, I thought, well, that might be something cool to use, so I decided to make a wood stand and incorporate the clamp feature to hold this in place. Uh, so what I did basically is I figured how much extra space I needed to put this clock in there and how high it was, and then I made a cutting sheet, of, made a diagram of it and the cutting list of what I needed to cut out and I went ahead and put it together. I spared you the experience of watching me do all that, not much sense in that, but just to show you my idea on this stand. So we'll take the clock off here, and pull the chains out, and loosen this up and I'll show you what I got here. It's just some uh, one by six pine I cut the lengths that I needed. I put uh, a couple pieces on the bottom to support it good. And then I've got, uh, of course, the top piece where I'm hanging my clock. If you look at the back side here, this piece here is press fit. There's no screws holding this piece in, so you can adjust it up or down depending on where you're hanging it and where it's going to come out to where you st still have access to get into your clock to work on it. So that was the idea behind that. And then I've got a couple strips here that I put on the cross members here just to make sure that this doesn't fall through. So then you go ahead and set that in there is what I'm doing. And snug up the clamps a little bit. Then get you a level, assuming this is where you're going to be working on it at. You're not moving it around after you do this. That's pretty good there. That's level. And you want to check the back side, the other side. Make sure that it's sitting straight up and down the other way. Then you tighten your clamps up. And double check it. Voila. Okay, I'll turn this around since I stuck it in there wrong to begin with. Okay, once you've got that, then you can put your drop the chains in there, hang your clock. Now I get to turn it back around again. You can see the back side. Okay, once you get, get your stand made, if you happen to make one like this, got your clock hanging there, now you want, now you want it level. I actually got this little level with the clock king, cleaning kit that I purchased. And you adjust that until it's level. And what I did is I cut a couple shims to put on the back side here. Put one on one side and 
snug one on the other side. Get my fat fingers out of there. Tighten her down. So now, you can go ahead and hang your weights, put your pendulum on, see how the clock operates, and then you could make your little fine adjustments back here. Having now access to the cage, you can adjust your birdie, uh, your bellows. You know, if they're not working right, you can adjust the, the wires on them. My situation here is I need to adjust this uh, little wire back here on the pendulum in order to get it to work one way or the other. There's other videos that show you how to do that. I'm no expert at this. I was lucky enough to get a, a decent case that was halfway clean and then I cleaned it and oiled it up and it did work. So, But now I'm just going to have to make a little adjustment on it. But as you can see with this workstation, I can sit it in a chair level, pretty much level with the clock and, and work on it. And once you get everything adjusted back here the way you want it, then of course you can turn it around and, and work on the hands and reset the hands to get your cuckoo to come out at the proper time. So this is old man tech style, cheap, cheap, I'm cheap. Ugh. Anyway. So there you have it. Old man tech, cheap cuckoo stand. Old man tech out. Have a good one.